Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Final Fantasy 16 playthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to do a couple of side quests that I noticed uh, we can do on the map. And we're going to continue on with the main quest called Cloak and Dagger. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's go in here. I gotta know if there's any uh, shinies or treasures. And there's... Uh... Yep. No treasure chests. Womp womp. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough to heed her call? Is that blade for hire, perchance? Because I have a mind to make a killing. Figuratively, I hope. Well, yes and no. A passing caravan carried with it a rumor most fortuitous for one in my trade, that an elder Dread Evis had been sighted in the fields of Carava. Dread Evis are aggressive beasts. Compelled as they are to acts of violence, few survive to maturity. But those that do develop a hide of phenomenal value. A hide you want to sell? Eventually, yes. Though I would have it tanned first that it might be crafted into marvels the likes of which the world has never seen. Dread Evis skin is a rare thing indeed. But the worked hide of a well-aged beast? Now, that would fetch such coin that Gilbot himself might weep with envy. Bring me that beast's skin, and I will share with you the bounty of our combined labors. All right. I'll hunt your Evis. Of course you will. When one lives in such troubled times, it is a fool who lets opportunity slip his grasp. Leave Tabor through the east gate, but take the path that branches west. Once you reach the checkpoint at Tovany, you are a mere stone's throw from the fields of Carava. I eagerly await your safe and, above all, triumphant return. Are you buying or selling? Anything worth buying? Nope. Take care. And then there is another quest right over here. I think. Yes, I'm going the right way. Cyril, how fares the search? Well, your grace, my report shall be with you ere long. Ah, yes. Yote is otherwise engaged at my behest. And the duty of wardenship? Fulfilled. For as you see, I've been reunited with my first shield. I am Cyril. Knight of the Undying and bearer of the Burning Quill, charged with chronicling the mortal deeds of His Grace, Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix and rightful Archduke of Rosaria. I entrusted Cyril here with overseeing the investigation into Ultima's origins. Findings from his brothers and sisters afield are delivered here to be collated and catalogued. Just how many Undying are there? Not nearly enough, milady. Yet we are glad to give our all in service to the Phoenix. Such is, and has ever been, our creed. I see. You have your associates, I have mine. But you may now think of them as ours. That won't be a problem, will it? The Phoenix is our sun 
and we but the shadows that quicken in his radiance. It is from the darkness that we serve, both him and now you. Pray accept this token. For as long as you bear it, members of our order will reveal themselves unto you. If there is nothing further. No. You are dismissed. Your grace. To Canva, then. We'll talk about this later. Cyril seem very, um... You certainly keep strange bedfellows, Joshua. Oh, I missed, uh, my destination here. Where the... It must be up top. Careful how you pack that leather. Any creases or scratches? You there, the strapping lad with the sword. Finally, no one was paying me the slightest heed. Is something wrong? At the university, the students would hang on my every word. Sadly, this far from home, I'm just a vagrant greybeard. The university? You're a scholar. A specialist in ancient cultures, the most accomplished in all Valisthea, some have said. Not that I look the part in these tattered rags. In my heyday, no obstacle could have kept me from my studies. Yet here I am, a wizened windbag, bested by the many steps of Tabor. The answers I seek lying just beyond my enfeebled reach. Would you do an old man a kindness and brave the stairs in my stead? You'll be amply rewarded, of course. Climb the stairs and... And memorize a few inscriptions for me. Uh, assuming you know your letters, that is. Some courteous soul is rumored to have carved clues to Tabor's rich history into stones dotted about the village. The three of them, to be precise. One each to the north, south, and east. I'm here in the hope that those carvings might shed light on a riddle I've been pondering for some time. Namely, the otherwise undocumented origins of Tabor's unique people. Uh, people quite unlike those of neighboring lands. I can't promise I'll remember everything perfectly. Remember what you can. I'll piece together the rest. Make for the domed pavilions, and you'll have no trouble finding the stones. How are those new boots treating you? No history would be complete without mention of the Mother Crystals. So it's these stones to Canva, and the rest of the boxes to Dalamil. There's another one over there, and then over there. Mm, not a scratch on them. Have you noticed the Elder has been coughing less of late? What golden plains might the wanderers have called home, I wonder? Mummy made the pottage for us.
Farmers must have settled here in Tabor. I should speak to the old scholar before I forget everything I've read. The engravings were in good repair, considering their age. Oh, what that I could have seen them for myself. Oh, come, don't tease me now. What did you learn of this place and its people? Uh, let's start with the engraving to the south, shall we? Oh, what did it say? Oh, God. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I hate shit like this. Um, the one to the south. Guardians of the Crystal, the first stones of Tabor, sacred hold thy noble blood till ends the mother's labor. I'm pretty sure that was it. Fascinating. It would seem the founders of this city were descendants of those fallen charged with protecting the mother crystals. But oh, whatever could have driven the Guardians so far from their sacred charges, I wonder? The engraving to the north is next, I think. Wanderers of the Golden Plains, lay your roots in stone. With pride recall thy noble past and make these rocks a home. Or, I think that was it, at least. No doubt you're right. There are vestiges of nomadic customs in Tabor its guardian roots could never account for. This is proving most enlightening. Now, for the final stone. Children of the Hunters, now tillers of the land, reap her promised blessing and give praise her gracious hand. That's all three. And so we add primitive farmers to Tabor's founding peoples, the final piece of the puzzle. Three engravings, one for each of the three peoples to have settled Tabor in ancient times. Guardians of the Mother Crystal? Wanderers from across the plains, and last, but certainly not least, hunters turned farmers. Little wonder it was so difficult to trace the roots of Tabor's culture. Those roots reached down through three distinct traditions. Nonetheless, one cannot help but wonder why this fact is not better known among scholars given that the stones stand here for all to see. Too many stairs, perhaps. Ha! Too many by far. Here, and thank you. Okay, so it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Thank goodness. Now let's go over, oh wow. Okay, so we're gonna have to make our way somewhere, somehow over there. So maybe we'll go to the jaw. We'll fast travel to the jaw. <whistles> Call our chocobo. Let's go. Fly Ambrosia. We haven't been doing very much main questing. There's been a lot of side quests lately. This won't be easy. Yeah, it will because we're just gonna run right past him, Clive. Ah! 
This might take a while. Gonna hop off. Be safe. <sighs> Old he may be, but it looks like there's still plenty of fight in him yet. Yeah. That was extremely easy. Ugh. This thing reeks. The sooner it's off my hands, the better. Now we'll fast travel back to Tabor. Here's your hide, as requested. I worried you might never return. Quickly, let me see it. Oh, as supple as a maiden's cheek, yet as adamant as her virtue. This is everything I had hoped for, and more. Clearly, my trust in you was not misplaced. You must be a hunter of considerable talent to have bested the beast with nary a scratch. Join me as my honored partner. With my means and your might, we shall be as wealthy as the merchant kings of Zemeckis. I don't plan on making a habit of this. I'm busy enough as it is. Very well. Though I believe fate had a hand in our meeting, it would be unbecoming of me to beg. Do not allow me to keep you from being about your business. Here, for the hide. At least the side quest didn't take too long. Oh, I feel like I fleshed a hundred skins today. Just checking to see if there was a treasure chest over there. Now let's make our way towards the main quest and see how far we can make it in the main quest today. The free cities under siege. Who'd have thought? Looks like we're going the right way, hopefully. Oh man, we could have just ran this way instead of Womp Womp. He did say go to the east. Orcs. Then let us be rid of them. Not even going to bother fighting them. Not worth my time. But it might be up here. Nope.
That looks very ominous over there. Or maybe it's a fast travel point. Clive. Smoke. Is the city fallen? The free men are still holding their own, then. Do we have any idea where Gav and the others might be? There's a warehouse near the docks where we agreed to meet if there was any trouble. We should hurry. There's a side quest over here, too. Oh, my goodness. We will worry about that eventually. <laughs> Not right now. For now, let's go ahead and do the main quest. There's just side quest after side quest after side quest right now. Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> I was starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. Or even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol. But everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey. My boy. Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> <sighs> so these Akashic are being controlled? Uh, that's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district, while you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? 
Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the Mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe! Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. All right, Toggle. Let's find those survivors. They don't stand a chance against those things. Fuck. No! We're gonna be fighting a bunch of orcs. They've been routed. Luta armor. Oh my god. Dude mess me up. Garuda. Already, I need Shit, he was tough. out first. Damn mages, every time. Stay 
What happened to the royal army? There's nothing but monsters here. We definitely won't be getting through all of this today. But we'll see how far we can get. Probably only have a few more minutes left and then we'll end the video. And when we come back, we'll uh, continue on. Okay, the, after this fight, I think we're going to end the video and uh, we'll come back and finish this main quest up. It's over. Thing over here besides the treasure chest. Nope. Nice. 2,000 gil. That's something I like to see. And I think, yeah, that's where we're going to open it up. So on that note, I want to tell everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. I really do appreciate it and it does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, good afternoon, or good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.